Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and this is my fifth hack to try to see if it's your brain or your upper neck that's causing your concussion syndrome symptoms. Uh, that could be headaches, brain fog, imbalance, dizziness, etc. And this one is really focused on diagnostic imaging. So many times a concussion patient will get a brain MRI. They don't see much, hence it's called a concussion. Uh, however, there is imaging to determine if it's coming from your upper neck, in particular, if you have craniocervical instability or if you've hurt some of the ligaments that hold the head onto the neck. And that type of imaging uh, comes in a couple flavors. One is called digital motion X-ray or DMX. You can look that up on Google, just uh, Google DMX uh, cervical, not the wrapper, but DMX cervical. And that's a test to see if we move in different directions, do you have too much motion in the upper cervical spine due to a ligament injury that occurred when something struck your head? Another type of imaging could be upright MRI with flexion and extension. That's going to be a little harder to interpret. You'd have to find the right doctor to read it and interpret it. So you're probably better off with the DMX and trying to see if you've got a problem with too much motion in the upper neck. So the last hack is get movement-based imaging to try to see if it's coming from your upper neck. Hopefully these uh, five hacks have helped you try to figure out, is it your brain or is it your upper neck? Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.